Many cruisers enjoy a few cocktails while on vacation, and cruise ships have no shortage of options for you. Which cruise ship bars stand out? Let's break that down today on Seymour Seas. There are so many great bars on cruise ships. I have my own personal favorites, as well as some that I still want to experience. We're gonna have some fun today, and I'm gonna share with you my top picks for cruise ship bars, along with a few honorable mentions. I'd love to hear what your favorite bars are as well. Hi, if you're new here, I am Doug, and this is Seymour Seas, a cruise tips and planning channel where I hope to help you and your family pick, plan, and enjoy your next cruise vacation. If you do find this video helpful in any way, as always, please do give it that thumbs up and consider subscribing if you have not done so already. Okay, let's get right into it. I'm gonna review my top eight picks, so let's start right there at number eight. On the MSC Meraviglia is the Horizons Bar. The Horizons Bar is at the very aft of the ship. It's located in the adults only outside pool area. And it is a very, very chill place. And I gravitated to that area while I was sailing on the Meraviglia. Now, there's a lots of seating around the bar. There's also lots of tables and chairs that are set up in a stadium tiered level where you look down over the aft of the ship and um, around the adults only pool. Now, there's lots of servers around this area so you can grab a table in the shade and really have a relaxing time. The servers at the bar are all very, very good and I was given absolutely fantastic service in this area. So I recommend it highly if you wanna get away from the noise and you want to have a relaxing area, maybe catch some rays and be in the adults area pool. Number seven on the list is the Wheelhouse Bar from Princess Cruises. This is an extremely popular venue on most of the fleet of Princess and it is an English pub style bar with lots of English draft beers, bourbons, whiskeys, and a lot of specialty coffees. Now, this is also a place that serves standard English fare for lunch that's complimentary. It's very popular, so make sure you get there early and you must be seated for the lunch service. On some of the new larger princess ships, this venue turns into Salty Dog Gastropub during the evenings, with also light fare being served. This is a venue that I very much want to visit. Moving to number six on my list is going to be Billboard On Board by Holland America Line. So I really love this venue based on the fact that it is a dueling piano setup. The seating area is quite large. It is right next to the casino, but in the very back there is a long bar with additional seating. So there are lots of servers that are walking around during the dueling piano performances, so you really never have to wait long for that special cocktail or beer or wine. And if you want to sit back a little further away from the crowds, then you can sit in the bar area, which has tremendous service and very personable bartenders. This bar seemed to be open most of the day, and they also had trivia events being held there as well as some other events. So this bar seemed to be open more than a lot of the other bars on the Music Walk on uh, the two ships that I was on. Number five comes to us from Carnival, and this is the Red Frog Rum Bar. This is an extremely popular venue with Carnival guests. It's a Caribbean Key West themed venue with lots of different draft beers and specialty cocktails, as well as their own private label uh, draft beer called the Thirsty Frog Red. Make sure that you try one of those while on board Carnival. They have great casual bar food, and it's normally a very lively place found very close, if not poolside, on most Carnival ships. 
Now, on one of the Carnival ships, one of the larger, newer ones, they've actually added a microbrewery to this venue, making it the first brewery at sea. We're going to change it up just a bit with number four. This is the Sunset Bar from Celebrity Cruises. This is a more laid back, chill environment and venue. It's located at the higher level decks at the back or aft of the ship. This overlooks the wake and it's a very relaxing, wonderful place to visit for sail away from the Caribbean islands as well as to view the sunset as the name implies. This has a full variety of cocktails, draft beers, as well as those fun tropical drinks to enjoy while sailing away from the islands. There's normally live music that's being played up here as well, and it's just a very, very nice, relaxing spot on the ship. Now, in most of the ships, it also is right above the outside area of the buffet. So you can normally just walk down a staircase and you're right there at the back of the buffet if you want to grab anything to nibble on. One thing to note about the Sunset Bar is that because this is an outside venue and at the aft of the ship, one of the corners is actually a smoking area. They do sell cigars at the bar, so you will find people smoking or smoking cigars in that corner, but due to the fact that it's at the aft and it's in only one quarter, this normally does not cause any issues. Number three on our list is a very all-time favorite of mine. It's a very classic bar that you'll find on cruise ships, and it comes to us from Norwegian, and this is the Maltings Whiskey Bar. Now, this is a classic bar with all of the old wooden accents. It has the leather chairs. It is a very classic bar that I really enjoyed. It was something that on the breakaway class, when we sailed, I would gravitate to this area based on just the feel and the vibe of the bar. Obviously, it has a lot of whiskeys, bourbons, as well as uh, beers and specialty cocktails. Now, this is an inside venue, but it also extends itself out to the promenade area that the breakaway ships are known for. So it has a very nice, lively area out um, on the promenade, and it has a wonderful view over the side of the ship and great ocean views. Now, this is also located beside a cigar bar that is an inside venue that can be accessed from the outside as well. So there may be some carryover cigar smoke that comes out of those doors, but most people uh, didn't see that as an issue. The service here was outstanding, and I really enjoyed my time on Norwegian due to this particular venue. Number two on our list is an oldie but goodie. It is the Schooner Bar on Royal Caribbean ships. This bar goes back as far as I can absolutely remember with all of the cruising that we've done in the last 10 to 15 years. You can always find some version of the Schooner Bar on almost any Royal Caribbean ship. This is very nautical themed, has a lot of wood accents, and it's just a place that is very comfortable and very popular with guests. It normally has some sort of live music being played. Many times it will have a request piano player or it might have a guitarist. Uh, some sort of entertainment is going on there most always. They do a lot of trivia in this area and it's just a very, very popular spot on any Royal Caribbean ship. Before we get to my number one cruise ship bar, let's talk about a few honorable mentions. The first is going to be the Alchemy Bar from Carnival. This is a very, very fun, innovative uh, bar to experience where they have a lot of different concoctions very innovative, served in very creative ways, and it's just something that you need to experience. Many people absolutely love this, and they're able to try something new and have some fun with uh, all of their traveling companions. 
The next is the Rising Tide Bar on Royal Caribbean Oasis class ships. This is a very large bar that is located in the middle of the main promenade and Rising Tide, it's shaped like a ship and it actually rises very, very slowly and goes up uh, a few decks to one of the outside neighborhoods where you can then get off or you can ride it on your way down. It has a fairly large bar and it's really just a lot of fun. It's pretty gimmicky, but I think everybody on an Oasis class ship needs to experience this at least once. Another honorable mention would be the Tamarind Bar on Holland America. Now, most of the Tamarind specialty restaurants, it's an Asian specialty restaurant located normally on one of the higher decks. On a lot of the ships, there is a bar that's associated with that that overlooks the pool area and gives you absolutely fantastic vistas of the, the surrounding ocean. This is normally only open in the evenings, so sometimes during the day, this is a great spot with really quiet areas and very, very comfortable, beautiful seating. And at dinner time, you can go there before your meal, or you can also get really great specialty coffees up there. So we really enjoy the Tamarind Bar based on its wonderful views and extremely beautiful, uh, comfortable seating. And I have to mention on Royal Caribbean, Playmakers. Playmakers is somewhat of a new concept and was introduced a few years ago. This is an outstanding sports bar with many, many live TVs, big screen televisions, pool tables, game tables. It's just a lot of fun. They serve um, a lot of great bar food with chicken wings and sliders and onion ring stacks. And it's just a really, really great concept and they've done it extremely well. So Playmakers is something to definitely uh, check on any of the newer Royal Caribbean ships. And then another venue I really, really enjoyed was on MSC, and this is the Sky Lounge. The Sky Lounge has live entertainment most evenings, sometimes in the afternoon. In the afternoon, it is a very, very quiet place to sit and read or do actually some work if you wanted to, but it's got fantastic views of the ocean, and this is a really, really great uh, sky lounge, observation lounge, on most of the MSC ships. That now brings us to my number one choice for cruise ship bar. If you watch this channel, you won't be surprised at this one. It is the Martini Bar from Celebrity Cruises. This is so popular with guests that you will find the Martini Bar in every celebrity ship and it is on Millennium Class, Solstice, and now on Edge Class, it is actually the centerpiece of the Piazza, which is the main atrium on all Edge Class ships. The bar is an experience unto itself. The bartenders are flair bartenders that put on several different shows for different types of pouring of martinis, shaking the martinis. The service in that area is fantastic. On the Edge Class ships, they've now added live music performances with a performance stage, including dancing. And as I said, it is the meeting place for the Edge Class ships. It is also the most lively place in the evenings on a Solstice or Millennium Class ship. I absolutely love the Martini Bar, not just because of the martinis. It's all about the people and the guests that are congregating there, having a wonderful time, and everybody seems to be enjoying themselves, even the crew and especially the bartenders. So you definitely need to check out the Martini Bar on any of the celebrity cruise ships. Thank you everybody for joining me today and reviewing this fun list of my top eight picks for cruise ship bars. If you found this video enjoyable or helpful in any way, as always, give it that thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Thanks so much and I really, really enjoy 
having you here and all of the support that you give the channel. Thanks so much. And as always, I'll see you again soon.